Hi, I'm John Manuel Andriot. I recently reported for the Huffington Post on a new study in the Journal of AIDS that looked at the connection between gay men's mental health challenges and their higher rates of HIV infection. The study concluded that there is a direct correlation between higher rates of psychosocial problems, let's say depression, substance abuse, childhood sexual abuse, and higher rates of risk behavior. But the researchers concluded that to be effective, HIV prevention efforts must focus on addressing gay men's mental health challenges, must look at the upstream drivers of risk behavior, rather than, as have typically been the case, focusing on telling men to use a condom. Healthy men make healthy choices. Healthy men choose to protect their health, choose to protect their partner's health. It's that simple, but it's also that complex. So what do we do with this? Well, in earlier research, Ron Stahl and his colleagues at the University of Pittsburgh looked at 812 gay and bisexual men and found that, yes, indeed, there is a higher rate of mental health issues among these men. There's higher rates of depression, higher rates of substance abuse, higher rates of childhood sexual abuse. But what they found that was really fascinating is despite these greater risk factors, these mental health challenges, that the majority of gay men affected by depression, let's say, do not engage in risk behavior. Of the 812 men they studied, 11% of men with one psychosocial challenge, let's say depression, had engaged in unprotected anal intercourse, the highest risk behavior for HIV. 11% of 812 men. They found that 23% of men affected by four or five issues engaged in high-risk behavior. Those numbers are high compared to the general population. But let's flip the numbers on their head, and what we find is something truly astonishing. 89% of men with one psychosocial challenge did not engage in high-risk behavior. 77% of men with four or five mental health challenges did not engage in high-risk behavior. What's that about? Well, Ron Stahl told me in an interview for an article I did for The Atlantic that it's resilience, that these men, despite their mental health challenges, are resilient, that what we need to do to make a real dent in gay men's high risk for HIV and the high rate of HIV in our community is we need to focus on building gay men's resilience. We're very resilient people. We have to be to survive to adulthood in a culture that drives into us the lack of value for our lives, the lack of respect for our relationships. If we can build resilient gay men, we'll save lives and we'll strengthen society. Healthy men make healthy choices. It's that simple and it's that complex. Thanks for watching.